As is tradition, President Joe Biden moved into the White House today. But unlike presidential move-ins of the past, this one comes with health risks. The White House has been linked to at least dozens of cases of coronavirus, causing it to be the site of multiple super spreader events. That's why somebody's got to clean that thing. And there's no one better at cleaning up someone else's mess than me. This is Samantha B cleaning. Welcome to Samantha B cleaning. I'm Samantha B and I be cleaning. Every president has moved into the White House since John Adams, who decided he wanted to loveth it instead of listeth it. A thorough cleaning is done every time a new president and his family moves into the White House, but this year's cleaning at nearly half a million dollars is the most complex ever, at least since they had to clean up after JFK spilled a full bottle of olive oil on the floor. As Jackie Kennedy later said, it was the worst day of her life. This year, the U.S. government is spending $29,523 just on curtain cleaning. Even more in the rooms where Trump insisted that the carpet match the drapes. Speaking of carpets, scrubbing them down will cost $44,038, which is just the beginning. They also have to wipe down all furniture, handrails, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, elevator buttons, restroom fixtures and dispensers, door handles, push plates and lighting fixtures. <laughs> Jeepers, is there anywhere in the White House he didn't come? Oh, right. On top of the standard clean, taxpayer money will go towards extensive disinfection. Since last fall, staff in full hazmat looking suits have been observed misting widely used areas like the kitchen, the bedroom, and the kitchen, as well as the lesser used areas like the Oval Office, the press briefing room, and the closet they kept Sean Spicer's skeleton in for the past three years. Oh, they didn't kill him. They just forgot to feed him, which I guess killed him. In addition to all the expected rooms, they'll also have to disinfect the giant $50,000 golf simulator Trump installed. Not because it has COVID. It's because it has farts. The White House will also spend $53,000 on paintings and wall coverings, including scrubbing the eyes off of the painting in the Lincoln bedroom because, merciful Jesus, the things that great emancipator has seen. Having to spend half a million dollars to clean Trump's mess is shocking, especially because that money could have been put to better use, like restoring the White House to its original seafoam color. Ugh. Now that's a soothing executive branch, but clean the White House they must. So with that in mind, here are some of my own personal cleaning tips for the Biden-Harris administration. One, start small. Cleaning the White House is a big job, but choosing one room to start with makes a difficult task manageable. Two, Inventory your supplies before you need them. You don't want to get halfway into cleaning the presidential hall of mirrors and realize you're out of Windex. Three, just burn it. Burn it and start over. I'm sorry, but even for a cleaning expert such as myself, there's no getting out the snail trail Stephen Miller left behind when he mated with an orb weaver spider. Twist, the spider also wanted to separate children from their parents. Finally, if you want one cleaning tip for the White House that's always a winner, it's to regrout all the tile in the bathrooms. This doesn't necessarily have anything to do with Trump. I just have a feeling it's time. Aw, thanks for watching. If you'd like to hear more from Full Frontal, hit subscribe and visit our page for more videos. Or if you'd like to be radicalized, leave YouTube on autoplay.